All right, I come back to this, and I'm not uh, a bit happy with this. It's just overpowering, quite honestly. And so I'm going to take this off. Time to play with some clay. It was just a little too much. And uh, I can do better. All right, be right back. I'm going to try a different setup for the feathers. That's much better. I'm happy with that one. I'm going to put a couple of hawk feathers on here too. Okay, I'm just going to Fill in the hole made by the uh, previous feathers. And I've got a small hawk feather made around here somewhere. Okay, I found it. Make one more. Put another hawk feather on here. Now, something I'm going to make is going to be some ermine hanging from his. Uh, hat or his uh, headdress and I'll be right back when I get ready to start that first I'm going to work on this uh, shirt a little bit and get that working I won't get to the staff today I'll have to do that uh, next week tomorrow I've got to go to my storage unit and uh load up the box with the uh, bronze in it that I got to take to the foundry to have shipped. And, uh, and then I've got to make room in my storage unit for the molds I'll be bringing back from the foundry. Uh, I'm going to have to bring back probably several molds and I've got to have room enough to store them in that storage unit. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I'm going to have beadwork on this uh, shirt, this war shirt, and uh, I'm going to make that out of Super Sculpty, again because it holds its uh, shape better than this clay, and I'm going to put some... Uh, inscribing on it to make it look like beadwork. I've been debating on whether to put a bear claw necklace on them. It would be appropriate. But quite honestly, if I was going into battle, I don't know if I'd want a big heavy-duty necklace on my neck. But then again, that's me, and uh, they were a lot tougher than I am. Believe me. This is part of the sleeve. It's actually the leg, part of the skin that goes on the leg of uh, the deer. And it uh, hangs loose off the arm. All right, I put some uh, Super Sculpty through the uh, 
pasta machine to flatten it out. And I flattened it out at the thinnest setting. And uh, all I'm doing right now is measuring out for the other shoulder. Okay, I can't do this other shoulder until I get the uh, shirt fixed up. <laughs> it's a little holy right here. There we go. Now, I put texture in the uh, strip of beads before I put it on the uh, clay because it's a lot easier to do it when it's flat than after I put it on. Okay, I'm going to fill in the sleeve a little bit. Okay. I'll work on that a little bit. Just adding to the wrinkles in the shirt. Now, the title of this piece may change. I'm not really happy with the title I've got now on it. Although it does describe what it is and who he is, I'm just not all that sold on that title yet. So I'm just going to reserve the option to change the title at some point in the near future. I'm kind of like in this position for the staff. And I'm thinking about not putting as many feathers on it because that would extremely cost more to reproduce. My Night Sentinel came out very expensive. Uh, when I first started sculpting back in the early 80s, Actually, the late middle 70s, you could get something like this cast for about, oh, probably $1,200, $1,500. And it's doubled that now. And uh, when you set your pri uh, pricing on it for the gallery, you've got to get so much mo more money so you can at least cover the cost to the gallery. Uh, you know, the gallery takes a percentage of your sale. And then you got to also um, cover the cost of making a casting and a replacement casting. So you can replace the bronze that was in the uh, gallery. And it's, it's hard to do that. All right, I put a shield on. There's some possibilities with the shield, too. Uh, feathers on it, fluttering in the breeze. I kind of like that.
I think I'm going to stick with that idea. I think I'm going to change my uh, whole initial uh, setup uh, with the spear hanging going across his arm here. I'm, I'll put a uh, bow and quiver on this side hanging down. And uh, it could make an interesting uh, story. Take one of these uh, ermines. And that will be hanging from his uh, hat or his, uh... yeah, that will look good. I'm just, I'm not putting him on here permanently. I'm just wanting to see how this is going to look. There'll be two ermine hanging on each side of the uh, headdress that will frame his hair, his face in nicely. I'll uh, decide whether I want to put long hair or braided hair. I've got to decide that over the weekend. I won't be here, like I said, tomorrow. I will definitely be here Tuesday. I'm going to be going to the uh, foundry on Monday. Uh, at least that's the plan for now. It all depends on the weather, but right now the weather's looking like it's going to be really good. And uh, so if I'm planning on going to the foundry on Monday. I'm going to take uh, the, Indian, the Indian girl and the puppy uh, to get a bid on it. And I might take this to ask some questions about... Uh, costs and stuff like that so i think that's going to be it that's uh this, this looks so much better now without those huge feathers sticking out the back eagle feathers are long they're about a little over a head length long in their length and uh the headdress moving around in the uh, wind and stuff like that on the model looked great but it just it looked just too much for this uh, sculpture. I, I don't want to have anything that draws your eye to one thing. And that would have been uh, what that would have been doing. But this gives a nice design to the whole piece. And it works all the way around. I've just got to think of a better title than uh, Great Plains Warrior. Buffalo Warrior. I don't know. Going to have to figure something out over the week. All right, see you guys next week. And uh, have a great, great weekend. Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.